Partridge Creek Beast. Dinosaur-like animal of northwestern Canada. Physical description. Length, 50 feet. Estimated weight, 40 tons. Black. Immense jaws. One rhinoceros-like horn on its snout. Skin has grayish-black bristles, like those of a wild boar. Two powerful hind legs. Behavior. Bipedal. Roars loudly. Eats caribou. Tracks. Footprints. Five feet long and two feet six inches wide. Claw marks. One foot long. Creates a furrow twelve feet wide and two feet deep. Tail impression. Ten feet long and sixteen inches wide. Habitat. Rocky Gorge. Distribution. Partridge Creek, Klondike area, Yukon Territory. Significant sightings. In 1903, James Lewis Butler and Tom Lee Moore were hunting moose near the mouth of Clear Creek, Yukon Territory, when the three animals they were stalking suddenly took off running as if in great fright. After discovering the tracks of a huge animal that had left a furrow in the mud two feet deep, they followed the trail across the country for six miles until it disappeared into a gorge at Partridge Creek. Returning to the Armstrong Creek settlement on the McQuestan River, they met George Dupoy, Father Pierre Lavineau, and five Indians, and all decided to head out the next day to look for the animal. After a day's unsuccessful search, they got a good look at it for more than 10 minutes when it came close to their campsite near Partridge Creek. Lavano claimed to have seen the animal again on December 24th, 1907, in the same area when the temperature was negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit. It was carrying a caribou carcass in its teeth and left tracks identical to those seen in 1903. Present status? These are the only known reports. Possible explanations. 1. Father Lavano identified the animal as a ceratosaurus a 20 to 30 foot theropod dinosaur with a short nasal horn that had been discovered in Colorado in 1883. However, because of the inhospitable subarctic climate in the Yukon, it's hard to see how even the most warm-blooded of dinosaurs could survive a winter there. 2. A tall tale concocted around the fossil discovery 25 years earlier. The well-publicized reconstructions of and theories about Ceratosaurus by Othniel C. Marsh in the 1880s and 1890s made this dinosaur widely known to the general public.